Hi guys, my name is Marcel Brainard. I'm a digital artist from Cape Town, South Africa, with a background in architecture and sculpture. Currently I'm working on a 3D animation project, and in this video I will be showing you how I use AccuRig and Actor Core from Reillusion to bring my 3D characters to life. This character that I've chosen for the demo is inspired by an ancient Peruvian relic and I'll be taking you through the process of rigging an AccuRig and uploading to ActorCore as an easy and powerful way to achieve animations and concept art. So let's jump right into AccuRig. I'll import my model as an FPX and the texture is embedded. I go ahead and say Rig Body. First thing I'd like to do is switch on Symmetry. And then it's a matter of lining up these points as per the reference. I like to take my time with this part because it's important to get it accurate so as not to have any defects on the animated model. I'll inspect the model in 3D, making sure all the points are in place. Have a look at the points from side and back. And if I'm happy with the positions, I'll go on to the hand. Five fingers as per usual. I'll just do some minor adjustments here. I find I get the best results when I leave the last points at the tips of the fingers at the ends of the nails. Same thing applies for the left hand. Some minor adjustments and then we should be good to go. And here I have my character in preview mode. I can inspect the model for any defects. I'd like to go and open up the arms. Everything seems to be working great. I can test some acting poses. Love this one. It's a good test to see if the clothes are tearing open or not and they seem to be holding out well. Testing the hands, inspection of the fingers, everything seems to be working great. And if I'm happy with the result, what I like to do is upload to Actor Core on the cloud. And I can do that by pushing this button over here. It'll take a little while to load. And there we have it, success. In the case that I don't have internet, I can also export an FBX from this desktop app. And I would just, in this scenario, set this for Blender, original size, and I like to embed the texture to have everything in one package to make my life easier. I'd go ahead and save the AccuRig data as well. Jumping into Actor Core online, go to my account and I can see my uploaded actors. And here's the character that I have recently uploaded. Here I can go and preview some motions, and there's a whole range to choose from, including 32 free motions. I can go ahead and test my own actor with some of these motions, like this stumble and panic motion over here. Total chaos. What I like to do is enable this a zero root button so that my model doesn't run away. 
Of course it can be useful to have a rooted animation, but in my case it gives me a little bit more control when I'm exporting the model to have it with a zero root. You can go ahead and test some more motions. This is quite a useful one, especially if you're building a game and you need your character to idle while he's not running around or doing something. In my inventory I've got a collection of motions and from these I can download any of them on the actor of my choice that I've uploaded. Classic sneak. A wandering walk. normal walk. So needless to say this is super useful. I can go ahead and download the motion, selecting my own uploaded actor. I like to export everything included, not only the motion but everything. Blender, I like to choose 24 frames per second, original size, and please do embed the texture. Go ahead and download, and it will download for me in a zip folder containing the FBX, and I can easily import that FBX straight into Blender, which I'll do right now. Importing to Blender is a simple thing, I just simply say import FBX. And here I already have it. I've set this character up with camera and light. Simple setup. And it's ready to render out. If I were to scrub through the timeline at the bottom, you'll see that the animation is embedded in the FBX as per the motion that I have downloaded. I make sure to set my frame rate as the same, 24 frames per second. Rendering in cycles, I'm ready to render this out. And here is the end result. Thanks so much Accurig, Actor Cool and Reillusion. And thank you to Blender too. Thanks for watching.